case briefs and so much more. LS data got what you're looking for. The case of O'Neill v. New York University captured the attention of the academic world in 2012 when a research scientist was fired after reporting suspicions of research misconduct by a colleague. The scientist claimed NYU retaliated against him and sued the university for alleged breach of contract, defamation, and failure to follow its own disciplinary procedures. The scientist's lawsuit was initially dismissed by a lower court. However, the case was taken to the appellate division of the New York Supreme Court, giving the scientist a second chance to prove his allegations. Judge Moskowitz, writing for the court, reversed the lower court's decision and reinstated the scientist's claims. The court ruled that the defamation claim was groundless as the statements made by the defendant related to a work-related common interest, rendering the defendant qualified privilege. However, it indicated that NYU may indeed have breached their contract with the scientist and failed to follow disciplinary procedures. The court found the scientist's employment contract was for a fixed term, determined by letters renewing his contract over specific academic years and the non-tenure provision in the faculty handbook. The court deemed this as an exception to the usual at-will employment arrangement where employees can be dismissed without cause. Moskowitz encapsulated the decision by stating that the crucial question was whether NYU substantially abided by its own policies when terminating the scientist's employment. The court's decision created a potential precedent for future cases where employees claim retaliation after reporting misconduct that is central to their jobs. Thus, while the defamation claim was dismissed, the court allowed the proceedings to continue in relation to breaches of contract and unfair dismissal. The case thrust the conduct of academic institutions under the spotlight, underscoring the unique position of employment contracts in these settings. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.